Yo, still bills with the Dizzle, man. Y'all just got off of work. Finally got a day where I'm a little bit early. And it's still 223. It's a Friday. Three-day weekend. That's always a beautiful day, man. But once again, we got to rap about something that ain't boxing related, but it's related to the last video I did that was non-boxing related. So keep game. What's the fuck? Buster Rhyme. It pains me to say this shit, man. But you gotta, you you, you gotta go. You gotta go. Uh, and I, I, I'm not talking about, you know, get killed or nothing like that. Man. I, I'm talking about your consumer base has to take a significant hit. Anybody, anybody, anybody that is supporting this man after that, he is one of my favorite MCs. Anybody who would still support this man after would leave, just leave. And it isn't even like it's new. This is from a year ago that he made this video. You can't be trusted. I don't know what it is about, you know, people having such a, you know, a gripe with Americans, black Americans in particular, owning their culture. For you to say we have no culture. The thing is, nobody knew, I never knew Buster was Jamaican until a few years ago. I had never heard him speak Patois or nothing like that. So I was tweaked when I heard him at like a, um, I think it was a, um, it was a little, it was a thanks, it was Thanksgiving. It was his crib, it was Thanksgiving at either his crib or, or one of his Rello's crib. And maybe not too long before that, I discovered he was Jamaican. Then I started hearing him more, you know, embrace his Jamaican heritage a little bit more, which is dope. I love, man, Patois is one of my favorite languages. I, I love how that shit sounds. It's just such a dope language to me. But I didn't even know he was Jamaican until then, you dig? Like, I was like, he's Jamaican? Like, oh, shit. So I never knew that. I never knew that. You didn't play up that Jamaican role in the in the late 80s to early 90s when you first started coming into the game, making your mark. You never, you, that was, no. We ain't never hear Wild Ron come out of your mouth. You was pushing this Brooklyn shit. Brooklyn, 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 Brooklyn. Now all of a sudden you're Jamaican and you're proud of your lineage and you know, it's just something about y'all. You know, you know, it's in, it's in y'all dance and all. They just, you was just saying some real slick shit. My biggest thing is this, man. For you to sit here and say Americans, because I know for a fact you was you you was you were talking about Black Americans. We have no culture. My thing is this, man. Everybody just zeroes in on hip hop as if that's the only brain product from a musical standpoint or a cultural standpoint that we have created. What was bebop? What was the blues? What was rock and roll? Everybody can every everybody everybody pinch points the origins of rock and rolls to the Rosetta Tharps of the world. What was that? What is jazz? These are all American art forms that are the brain product of Black Americans, man. And y'all just refuse to acknowledge that. Y'all refuse to acknowledge that. I was a dude once upon a time who would you know credit everything back to the mother continent of Africa can't do that no more i stopped doing that some years ago why because there's no sound that comes out of africa that sounds anything like r&b soul rap it's nothing like it you you, you know you're gonna have your, your 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 um what they call that the uh your 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 parallels and your and the things that you can say oh man yo that sounds like this that sounds like that but the overall sound that makes up these genres of music that flourish here in America were the brain products of American black people in the ghettos of America. Nobody, no other, no, no other nation can claim that and make claim to that. Whatsoever. Whatsoever. You can't point if, if this is a brain product of Jamaicans, where were your Jamaican rappers at? Where are your Jamaican rappers? From Jamaica. From Jamaica. Not the not Jamaicans who were here involved with the culture when it started really coming into fruition. But where are the where were where were the Jamaican rappers at? Coming straight from the island. They didn't exist. They they didn't exist. 
the bit, the beautiful thing about hip hop is it has its own writing system. It has its own dance, its own language, its own music. Those are all pillars of society right there that make the society, you know, stay in motion and evolve. And because people have such a bug in their ass about black Americans, they just refuse to let us own that shit. They refuse to let us own it. My daughter is blowing my spot up. I'm not about to ask you because I'm in my bag right now and we got to talk about this shit. Because it's just this it's just really getting to a point. It's just it's disrespectful. I was really in my feelings when the homegirl forwarded me this. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. I had my Joe going on before I came on this mic, or before I came on this camera. But when the homegirl posted, when she forwarded this Instagram clip, or not, not an Instagram clip, but a YouTube clip of Buster Rhymes saying that shit, it really set me off. It really set me off. It, it, it pissed me off, man. And, you know, because it was sprinkles of different nationalities that were involved in hip hop in its early, in it, in, you know, in its in its conceptual form, they think that they can take credit for that. You know, that entire country can take credit for that as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Could Italians take a part? Could they? Could they? Could they make claim to hip hop um, culture? And this is why you have to be versed in all aspects of hip hop to a certain degree so you can break down these arguments when someone really tries to throw these curveballs at you. Mr. Freeze was a world renowned, he was the original member of Rocksteady Crew. World renowned Rocksteady Crew, B Boy Crew, not the first B Boy Crew, but the world, the, the first international B Boy Crew that really got their name known across the globe. He was the only Italian who could walk through certain blocks in the Bronx and they wouldn't fuck with him. Oh, that's Rocky. Yeah, man, that's Mr. Freeze right there. He get down like this, he's one of us. It was one of them type of situations. He get a pass for the, you know, he could come to the hood. You know what I'm saying? Should during when 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 after, when Ben Bada and them and you know the Soul Sonic Force, when they got there early in, when, you know, when they there, when they came into the game, they wasn't cutting records like how you heard from uh, uh, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five and then the, four, the Funky Four plus one more. You didn't hear records from them like that. It was more electro shit, a more electronic sound. And those sounds come from Europe. Craft work. Those sounds come from a lot of those, they come from Europe overseas. Should we credit them to that? Should we credit the Europeans, the, 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 the European music scene to that shit? Because of the influence that they had on one particular, no, it was a few, it was a, it was a couple groups. Should we do that? You know, what, 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 what the fuck are we doing? What are we doing? It's just, it's, it's just, it's so disrespectful to listen to these cats sit here and say that we don't have a culture. When you're a, when you're a beneficiary of this culture, nobody knew you were Jamaican, dog. Do you even have Jamaicans who fuck with you like that? To the point, could I ride? Could I ride through Kingston and listen to the Extinction Level event? Can I ride through? At the time they came out, could I ride through Kingston and hear Anarchy? Can I ride through Kingston and hear motherfucking The Coming? Can I ride through St. Mary and hear when disaster strikes? Can I ride through all these different uh, these, these 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 cities in Jamaica and hear your music? Beating through the speakers. I don't think I could. I don't think I could. It's just disres It's just like just. What is it with y'all that that it presses y'all so much that we want to reclaim our culture? Cool Herc is not a, the creator of hip hop. You can't be the creator of something when you were trying to learn. Whatever it is that you allegedly created. Herc was trying to learn how to b-boy. Herc was taught how to scratch. He was taught how to DJ. He was taught how to grab how to grab. He was taught all this shit. How the fuck are you a creator of that? He's even said, I'm not the creator of hip hop. He's the most world-renowned DJ. Why did he get all the praise in the world for bringing it all under one roof, 1520 Cedric Avenue? He named the B-Boys with the, he gave the B-Boys their name. 
he created an energy and an atmosphere for, that was conducive enough to them to trigger that response out of them when they got on the floor and start uprocking. He created that. He extended the brakes. Bought two turntable expended. They call it the merry-go-round. That cre they cre he created an atmosphere for B-Boys, but let's be clear. Let's be very clear. That was already being done. He gave them their music. He gave them. The, he gave them their. All oh, right, yo, man, this is conducive to the movements that we're doing. I bet that. And I can't even say he gave it to him. He just re, he he provided the the extended part of the break. Herc is a contributor to the culture, no doubt about it, and should reap whatever benefits hip hop has to offer. He's one of the faces of this culture But to sit there and say he created the culture Is blasphemous And you want to take You want to you wanna just cling on to that That cool herb He's Jamaican, he created hip hop Because that's the general consensus There's a few people, oh Rocksteady Crew Oh yeah man, Puerto Ricans created, created hip hop where, where, where were the b-boys In Puerto Rico? Where were the rappers in Puerto Rico? In the 70s where were they at? They were not existing because this culture comes from black Americans. And don't just stop at hip hop, man. It's other cultures that we have, like us. When you look at art, we produce some of the, we produce the baddest vocalists on this planet. Hear all these soul singers coming from different, you know, from different countries. Adele, even Marsha Ambrosia. Who do you think they sound like? They sound like a trained vocalist who came up singing in the church choir, sharpening her tools in the church choir. That's where you get your soul from. That's where you learn it. That, that's where you really. That's where you test yourself at. It's no different. For Stepping in the cypher, y'all about to crash. No different from a dancer stepping in the cypher. No different from that. It's the same thing. They didn't produce vocalists like that in Europe. They didn't produce. They don't. Pro they didn't produce vocalists like that into uh, in other Caribbean nations until they got hit to soul music. They're going out of their way to say soul music and blues and all that shit was, 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 has a Latin influence. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. What is the problem about saying black Americans created this shit right here? We can't have nothing. We can't have nothing. And it's like, it, se it seems like they, need, they seem to be doubling down on their stance on this shit. Black and Puerto Ricans created 50, uh, hip hop, 50, it's a 50 50. No, it's not. No, it's not. Puerto Rican's contributions to hip hop early on was through the dance and was through the artwork. And that contribute that contribution came later after its inception. Y'all ain't do shit in rap music until the 90s. And DJing, I get you. You know, y'all had y'all had a few DJs who were around, yeah. Y'all had a few DJs who were around, but y'all did not have y'all didn't create the shit. I don't see why that's such a big deal for y'all to say. All the influ, all the black influences that go into reggaeton, we don't make claims in creating reggaeton. Even though y'all see the, the, even how y'all rhyme. That syncopated cadence that y'all rhyme in nowadays. My wife is Chicana. She listens to all that shit. You think I don't hear that shit? Is that who y'all think? Name me some merengue music that niggas was singing like that. Some bachata music with motherfuckers was singing like that. That's a black American influence. But we don't make claims to y'all genre of music. We don't. We don't make claims to that. 
the heavy 808s that y'all hearing now on these fucking reggaeton tra on these reggaeton tracks? Who do you think that shit comes from? That's clearly a black American influence. Do we make claims of that? No, we don't. We do not. Because the overall sound that makes up reggaeton sounds completely different from what you hear in America. You know a reggaeton track when you hear one. And we're humble enough to say, no, nah, that's that's not a, that's not our movement. We didn't create that. So what is the big deal about us staking claim to what it is that we did create? The next 30 years, they're going to say we didn't have nothing to do with jazz because jazz music is being played by white people now. And I'm not against that, by the way. I'm, I'm not against that. Talent is talent. If you nice... Do the damn thing, but just all I'm saying is pay fucking homage. How dare this nigga go on there and say no the Jamaicans and Puerto Ricans created hit and we ain't got no no culture. The US ain't got no culture, y'all ain't got no culture. Says who? When you're a beneficiary of that culture. Niggas did not know you was Jamaican until a few years ago. And I'm one of I didn't know you was Jamaican. I did not know that. I don't recall you speaking Patois on none of your tracks, your early tracks, dog. And you, no, those are some of your, 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 your CDs were some of my favorite CDs. I never heard you speak Patois on none of them. Ever. So for you to sit here and say some shit like that is extremely insidious and disrespectful to the people of this land, dog. That shit is fucked up. And I feel you, you should be canceled for the, or sat down, put in time out. Your ass need to go in time out because that shit was not cool. Y'all don't, it's, y'all don't even try to hide the contempt anymore, man. We don't have a culture up here in America. We have no, how we speak is a part of the culture. You don't think these Jamaicans is trying to talk like us? Using our sloganism? What, what are we doing? Just no, just, just no respect. No respect. No respect. We can't have our, this, the very thing that we created, we got to share with everybody. And now it's not even sharing no more to where everybody can be a part of it. Now we have to share with the, you know, we have to share uh, 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 co-creators. We got to share co-creators. That is ridiculous how people are, they just have this sense of self-entitlement to some shit that doesn't belong to them. Don't talk to me about no motherfucking Jamaicans making no hip hop when no, no element involved within hip hop culture. You could have found that, you couldn't find that shit in Jamaica when that shit was being formulated. You couldn't find that shit in Puerto Rico when that shit was being formulated. The Puerto Rican B-boys in Puerto Rico. No goddamn rappers in fucking Jamaica. But we just gotta sit here and just eat that shit and just be accepting of it. Be accept, accept, just just accept the disrespect. Accept being disrespected. Accept the fact that we gotta we have to share every any and everybody can indulge in our culture and get to a point where they can take they can benefit off of it. They can completely change their lives from a financial standpoint. You know, they can create their own lanes off of it. They can do a multitude of things within hip hop culture. And that, which isn't, a, I'm not, you know, if you're talented by all means, do what it is that you do. But now we have to tell them, now we have to say that they also created it. And to hear a black man say that shit is real disheartening, man. Cause I, I, I I'm telling you, I was Busta is one of my favorite rappers. Busta is one of my favorite rappers, man. And for him to say that shit is like, yo, this is where we at now. This is where we at. This is where we come to. 
it's just really disrespectful and disheartening to hear that shit coming from that man's mouth, man. We have no culture. We have no culture. We have no culture. Bebop wasn't ours. Jazz wasn't ours. R&B, soul music. I'm, all of these sounds are predicated. Hip-hop in itself is predicated on James Brown. When you talk about the dance aspect, and not even the dance aspect of it, man, that's all that cool Herc was playing at the parties. Wasn't playing on no fucking. Oh shit! Oops. He, I heard he didn't play no goddamn. He wasn't playing in fucking um, a uh, 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 dance hall and reggae music. He wasn't playing none of that shit at the parties up here because that's not what we wanted to hear. We didn't want to hear it. We wasn't receptive to that style of music because that's just not what that's not what got us on the floor. We don't speak that language. We don't speak that language. So how can that activate us to want to get on the floor? Oh fuck this! It is just the. The disrespect and contempt that motherfuckers have for black Americans is, it is exhausting, man. It's, it's exhausting. Nobody wants to give us our just due. Nobody wants to give us our, you know, our, our credit on what you're like, bro, we, we're the cornerstones of culture. So for you to sit here and say, we don't have a culture, motherfuckers dress like us, look, When hip hop had his own fat own sense of fashion. When hip hop had his own sense of fashion. With the cross colors and you know, uh, uh even going into like the early tools, you know, where it was baseball jerseys and real baggy shorts and jeans and shit like that. It was dressing like that everywhere. 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 The Puerto Rocks in Puerto Rico was dressing like that. Was they dressing like that beforehand? No. How dare you say we don't have a culture? What, what, what is culture? It doesn't just stop, start and stop at music. Culture covers so many different bases, man. I mean, you look at what, what they do in LA, like California with the low ride and shit. That's culture right there. You're gonna sit here and tell me black Americans don't have culture? Gang banging, that is a culture. Whether it's Chicago politics or California politics, that is a culture. Look at what that has morphed into today. You can get a record deal off of, ha off of having a street affiliation. That's culture. When you talk about we don't have a culture, bro, like that shit is, re that shit is, that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable, bro. You got to get canceled for that. Until, unless you issue an apology. We don't have no culture, man. Like, we just supposed to gravel at the feet of these Caribbeans, man. I've gotten to a point where, you know, I was one of them dudes. And I still am. I got love for any... I got love for all my people. I don't give a fuck where you come from. But y'all are going to have to get checked on a lot of things. Especially you Caribbean motherfuckers. Y'all Africans, y'all got to get checked. And I'm talking continental Africans. Y'all have to get checked on shit because y'all just think y'all can run your mouth and say some slick shit that's denigrating and disingenuous to the people up here and who came, who was cultivated in America. I was listening to some bro talk about, oh man, y'all ain't got no culture up here. We, 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 y'all owe us. We Haitian. Y'all owe the Haitians. What the fuck we owe y'all for? What the fuck we owe y'all for? The motherfucker that liberated y'all out y'all fucking out, out of y'all circumstances, y'all turned around and killed. The fuck? Desaline didn't get to see the didn't get to see Haiti flourish and become his own uh, 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 um, powerhouse economically. He was killed shortly after the revolution. He was killed after that. And what did y'all allow to happen as a Haitian people? Y'all allow Western powers to creep right back into y'all country, destroy y'all citadel, and rewrite the, the Dessaline Constitution for Haiti. 
and we owe y'all some sort of gratitude when y'all was support y'all was on the right track he put y'all on the proper path on what it is y'all need to do and y'all wasn't ready to do that y'all wasn't ready to put in the work for yourselves so let's bring in somebody who can boost the economy and look at where Haiti is at now y'all been stripped from the African Union y'all country is in is destitute right now plastic rice gets shipped to Haiti bro like what type of shit is that y'all owe taxes to fucking America y'all owe taxes to America because of the Louisiana purchase this is what we owe y'all for this for dropping the ball or what Dessaline started we owe y'all for that a Haitian chick how dare you how dare you come out your mouth and say some dumb shit like that Y'all are going to have to start getting a reality check on shit. Y'all are. And now that it's more black Americans becoming more boisterous about their stance against immigration, y'all have a problem with that. Because we just supposed to sit there and be pacified despite the disrespect. After we fight for y'all to come over here, y'all oh, are. Nah, y'all ain't got no culture. Americans ain't got no culture. The U.S. ain't got no culture. While you would be, I couldn't believe this chick had the nerve to say that shit while she got that quick weave in her hair. Ain't no Haitian chicks in Haiti whipping that shit up like that. Ain't no Haitian chicks in Haiti whipping that makeup like that. Ain't no Haitian chick in Haiti with the, you know, the, the mannerisms and the caricatures of a black woman here in America. All the, you know, how these, you know, how black women speak here. You doing that shit in no fucking Creole. You learn that shit from black American women, so how dare you fix your, fix your lips and say, ain't no culture up here. Buster, how dare you fix your lips and say, ain't no culture up here, when we didn't even know you was a fucking Jamaican until a few years ago. Y'all got a lot of nerve, man, and it just, it's, it's just, I, I try, it's really hard to argue with oh, well, all of them ain't like that, you know, because all of them ain't, but at this point, it's more than enough for y'all to wear it needs to be addressed and if y'all don't want to be vilified like the rest of your country man you are going to have to do what it is that you got to do to show that you stand diff alone in this shit like nah i'm not with the rest of them nah don't label me with, with, with the rest of them i got love and respect for the cultures that black americans have created and we can keep and, and I, I, I hey cool i love you dearly but to them ones who are who are you know who are disrespectful and they have some sort of contempt for black Americans, y'all gonna have to get dealt with. Not in the sense of a from a physical standpoint, but just like nah, I'm good. I, I'm I'm cool. And we check y'all on y'all shit. There's no way I like it, it just it's blasphemous how somebody from the Caribbean can come over here and fix their lips to say some shit like the shit that they say. A Haitian chick can come over here and talk about how we ain't got no culture while she is, while she's a, nobody would even know that she was Haitian until she told them. You ain't speaking in Creole. We ain't hear you say nothing in Creole. You don't have no accent. You speak like a black American chick. Buster did not, nobody even knew this nigga was fucking Jamaican, dog. I, I don't think I can, I can, I can drive that point home hard enough. Nobody knew he was Jamaican. Nobody knew this nigga was a Jamaican until he started speaking Patois a few years ago. Nobody knew this. Buster has been around since the early 90s. That's when he really started coming into prominence on the scenario track. That's when he get that's when his career skyrocketed. We heard no Patois come out of this man's mouth ever. Now here we are. 20, 25 years down the line, 30 years down the line, now you talking about Jamaicans, this Jamaicans created hip hop. And Puerto Ricans created hip hop. I swear to God, what the no. Y'all did not. Y'all did not. Sorry to tell you, not sorry to tell you. Cool Herc is a is it's a reason he's the father of it only from the sense that he was the one who put it under one roof. 
but he did not create the culture because for him to create the culture with me it would mean the three ingredients that make up this culture he would have had to cultivate it out of his own mind and he did not do that because he was trying to learn them you can't create what's already formulated you cannot create what's already formulated hip-hop had already had his roots his foundation set and this man and the, what really bothers me is how he can sit here and talk about all the all the influences of the Caribbean, but completely disre disregard shit like the, Bap the Southern Baptist preacher. The Southern Baptist preacher who has an immediate influence on the way rappers rap, just how they get the vocal projection of a, of a, of a, of a, of a rapper today. All oh, that shit ties back to our Baptist Southern roots. That ain't out of a, that's not spawned out of a fucking Jamaican dog. That is it is 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 bothersome listening to these niggas going and rant about this shit, and just how hard they're trying to drive this false narrative. Well, y'all can just simply be real about it. It costs nothing to be real about a situation, dog. It costs nothing. You want to talk about Jamaica and all that? Wow. Wow. Let's credit auctioners as well. You know what I'm saying? Since we just everybody get, you know, how they auction off shit. Yeah, they they yeah they a part of hip hop too. They created the culture as well. Stop being disrespectful, man. Stop being disrespectful. I don't know what it is about black Americans owning their culture that irritates everybody so badly, but it is what it is. Even in the popping scene. I'm a dancer. I grew up. I'm a popper. A what? That's I've said it before. That is a West Coast style of dance that was created in the '70s. It's gone so commercial now to where you know the black the black presence is is dwindled. It's dwindled because for it to survive. They started going and venturing out to other countries and teaching the countries over there. They started going to Asia, in particular, Japan and Korea and China and um, Taiwan. They started going to the places. They started going over to Europe, France and the UK. They started making all these all these pilgrimages to all these other different continents and countries that now those faces over there are are, are um, they have a massive presence within this culture. Within pop and culture, they have a presence in it, like like to the point where the the black presence is at an all time low. When I was going to jams, especially when you would go to jams on the coast, especially in particular California, it'd be a huge Asian demographic there from all parts of Asia. The black kids from the hoods of America, you wouldn't see as much. You'd see the Asian pop, you'll see the Asian pop, and they didn't even speak English. But now that we're starting to come back and say this is a black culture, it's people who have a problem with that. Like because they're a participant in it, that they get claims, no, this is our culture. And we're simply saying you didn't create it, you're a participant within it, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you're gonna have to pay homage. And they take issue with that, they're real standoffish with that. What is it with black Americans owning their culture that pisses everybody off? Because everybody feels, but they can. We automatically attach everybody on to whatever it is we got going on. Whatever, whatever momentary steps we take, the progressive steps we take in society, we got to latch everybody onto it. In particular, Latinos. So now all oh, Latinos created hip hop. Oh well, this isn't a black culture. It's a it's a culture because I'm a part of it as an Asian man. Or as a white guy, this is is just it just is I I I'm, oh my fucking god, dude! And you wonder why you know um, you 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 what they say um you're pulling a race card and you're a race baiter. Hey, it is what it is. I'll be that. Respect our culture. It's as simple as that. Jamaicans and Puerto Ricans did not create hip hop. 
Sorry, not sorry. I don't give a fuck. And anybody pushing that shit needs to be canceled. Anybody pushing that shit needs to be canceled in the immediate. Hip hop is. I, I, they're, I think they're they're at a point now where they're really acknowledging different elements within the culture because now they found a way to make money off of the different elements within the culture on a mainstream scale. So now, rap music isn't going to be the only. Um, rap music just isn't going to be the only lucrative part of hip hop. With B Boy being implemented into the Olympics. You're gonna start seeing more trials and shit on the, you know, on national syndicated television. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna start seeing more competitions on TV now. So now you're gonna have big sponsors and corp uh, corporations coming in and putting they pouring their money into this culture. You're gonna see a lot more of that now. Damn. You're gonna start seeing a lot more of that now. And with that come, you know, you, you that what that's how the whitewashing begins. That's why I wasn't a big fan of B-Boy being implemented into the Olympics. Because now you're gonna, you know, you're gonna muddy the waters and shit. And because the black presence within B-Boy culture is is it's not minuscule, but it's it is it pales in comparison to the European B-Boys. The white, your, the white Anglo B boys and and, and and the Asian B boys, it pale. They pale in comparison, honestly. They pale in comparison. And the Chicano, pre, uh, the Chicano presence up here in America, so I think it's more Mexican B boys up here than anywhere else. Brazil, and I'm not talking about Black Brazil. I'm talking about Mestizo Brazil, Indigenous Brazil. You're gonna start seeing all. The, the black presence in these dances are they're, the numbers are dwindling they've dwindled and now you have motherfuckers trying to, trying to push this notion that blacks and Puerto Ricans created hip hop in the next 20 years it's going to be Puerto Ricans created hip hop so we have to get a hold on this culture in the now and begin to gatekeep it and start to weed out the bullshit to let motherfuckers know you're wrong you're wrong. If Jamaicans created hip hop, that means around 69, between 69, between 69 and 73, they should have had a plethora of different rappers that came out of motherfucking Jamaica. An incredible graph artist. Puerto Rico should have been producing hella graph artists and hella b-boys straight out of Puerto Rico. I'm talking don't speak a lick of English. They should have been producing b-boys out of Puerto Rico at uh, the inception of hip hop. Don't talk to me about no goddamn Puerto Ricans and Jamaicans creating hip hop. No. I don't fucking think so. I'm not doing that, man. We're we not doing that, man. Buster, you owe us an apology. Or you can just get pushed to the sideline, man. I was going to throw on your CD, too. I'm, 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 I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, man. So just all in the, man, just respect the culture. Respect the people who created the culture. If y'all created this culture like y'all are proclaiming that y'all have then there'd be a lot more people coming from your country at the inception of the culture. And that's just not the case. We all know that to be bullshit. And you can't create what's already formulated. You can't be a creator of something by trying to learn something. No. Fucking James Naismith ain't tried to learn how to play basketball. He created the goddamn sport. Oh my fucking god, man, I'm out, man.